Uh, I'm a lawyer mm -hmm. and here in Laos I work with the Luxembourgish Institute. Uh, our main topics of work are uh, human trafficking, money laundering and anti-corruption or criminal justice in general. What we do here in Laos is we do capacity building for judges, prosecutors, lawyers, uh, civil servants, but also law students. We do a lot of field trips here in Laos. You would be surprised to see the ratio of men and women in the workshop that we do. So women are, of course, a minority. But for me, as a woman, uh, it makes me bond with them. It makes me talk to them more easily. It makes me uh, share my story with them. Um, and of course, already being a woman, we uh, take off a barrier. So they're more willingly to share with me, to talk about their challenges in their work. The power of example is me as a woman standing there and talking to them about anti-corruption, about serious topics and about uh, the power of doing whatever you're passionate about and uh, understanding that you can do it. The legal world in general, until now, it's a man's world. And you do want to show that if you work hard enough, uh, if you're passionate about it, you can make it. And you can do it. And it's like the doors will be open for you if you are ready to, um, to involve, if you're ready to work towards it. Um, so everything is possible. For me, it was clear from when I was a teenager that I wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to go into this. It was the shortest way to make the world a more equal world and a more fair world. This was the place for me where you can have enough space and enough instruments to actually fight for it and to actually make an impact and to become an active player in this. It's bad to say it, but a woman has to work twice as much as a man to get there and to reach it and to have it. Because you're a woman, you're expected to be a secretary or a clerk, but we do want leadership positions. We are there because we are good. We are there because we worked hard enough to be there. We have our place there and we have the right and we deserved it. This is the challenge, yeah, to show that you are good enough to show that you're there and you're at the same level. When I first came in Laos, I had no expectation. So I was open for it, I was ready to embrace it. I would not say that it was easy. It was different to me as a Moldovan, as an Eastern European. Uh, I did understand and I do uh, bond with the challenges that we have in Laos, coming from a small country. I do understand that culture is what keeps us together uh, and this is the same for Laos. Culture is what keeps the people together. Laos is home for three years now and what is the better way to care about your home? It's supporting its people and if you support the people you're directly supporting the country in, in general and to me that was important. I was introduced to Birds Follow Spring by my partner. Birds Follow Spring is dear to me because everything here speaks in stories. Starting from the people, the founders, its community, the name, everything has a story behind and I care deeply about meaningful products. Even this uh, bracelet has, says sisterhood on it, so it's a gold bracelet. Uh, which has engraved sisterhood and in French on the other side is Sœur de Coeur which means sisters by heart uh, which to me means uh, being part of a bigger community uh, being part of uh, um, certain values and promoting them and caring about your uh, big sisterhood because this is what we are, a big sisterhood Some pieces that are very special to me from Birds Follow Spring 
It's a sapphire ring that is a symbol of love um, that I got from my partner. And it was the first piece from Birds Follow Spring. So this necklace, I got it made for me and my sister. And it says heart in Romanian, which symbolizes the link that we have with my sister. No matter how far we are, where we'll be always uh, linked uh, by this necklace uh, wherever we are.